Good morning, Matthew. Really appreciate you waking up nice and early to come on for this interview. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Good as well. So the reason I invited you on is because I saw some wins from you. I believe it was copywriting and freelancing campuses. Is that correct? Yes. Could you explain what they were about? Yeah. So I own a marketing agency called Legacy Media Team and recently we've been working with some fairly large clothing brands and we've been running advertisements for them. And the screenshots that I posted in the wins section were actually some Shopify analytics from my client, one of my clients at least, from February, 1st of February to the 28th. Could you clarify what figures those were? Uh, the amount? Yep. 32,000. Okay. So is that just for March or just for February? Just for February. Just for February. And how yeah. has January been and before that? January was pretty good. Um, it was a, like 29,000 in January, but then in February, we were able to get that up to 32. How much has the real world contributed in terms of growth of that agency? Would you wholly attribute it to the real world or no? At least like 95% of it, yeah. I'd say so. Yeah, and in what ways would that be? Well, at first, I was just doing copywriting, and my plan was to just uh, be a copywriter for a little while. But then I decided to... Well, I started hearing about Facebook advertising and how lucrative it could be. So I decided to dip my toes into that. And once I did, I kind of just started liking a little bit more than copywriting. And so I transitioned from copywriting over to that. And I carried the skills from copywriting over towards Facebook advertising. And it, it correlates a little bit. So Interesting. Okay. And did you have any copywriting experience prior to joining The Real World? No. I didn't even know what it was. When did you join The Real World? August 24th. Okay. And then your company started scaling one in December, like mid December. So between that time span, what were you doing? Were you putting in a lot of hours or maybe not taking it as seriously at first? So I, I guess I was taking it seriously. It's just mainly I was a little bit hesitant to start and I wanted to gather up as much information from the real world as possible before I actually started reaching out to anybody. So I, that whole time I was still learning, I just wasn't putting it into action. How different would you say the material has been from what you've seen in the real world compared to what's out there on the internet? Um, I would say it's a lot more detailed. It's, it's almost copy and paste. It's pretty, it's pretty laid out for you. It's definitely worth the $50, I would say that. How different would you say your average day is now compared to before you joined the real world? So before I joined the real world, from right before I joined to the day I joined, um, it was pretty much video games, being lazy, you know, not just wasting my time really. But after I joined the real world, I started to see how much time you actually had to put into it if you wanted it to be successful and be able to make anything of yourself. And so my day has had to change. I can't play video games anymore if I actually want to do anything with myself. So, And a bit more in depth on to, so now what are you doing in terms of day-to-day -day that is different? So day-to-day, -day, um, I wake up, I get on my laptop, well, I shower, I get on my laptop, I start emailing, I work on my clients' advertisements, um, begin emailing again, then I work out later in the day. I don't really like working out early in the day. And it's pretty much just work. What would you have to say to people who would call that excessive, working so much? If that's excessive, then go ahead and stay broke, I guess. <laughs> Whoa! Welcome to the real world!